but I simply reached out to him and said, hey, I'm on the West Coast of Florida. He was touring the East Coast. And he put it in, he put our city in his stock. And he showed up and showed out with his team. And his leadership team came through and they, make, they, they put a mark on our area that has forever been there and it will be there for, for as long as we continue to operate in this business and we're going to do it for a long time. So I say that just so that you can know the, the caliber of individual you're, you're listening to and you're about to hear from. He is integrity driven. He's a family man. He's a God care man. He's a champion's champion. He leads from the front, not from the back. He, is, he, he loves to help people. And he wants to see everybody succeed that wants to succeed. So without any further ado, I want to bring to the call a gentleman that I, I, I have love for, true genuine love for because of what he stands for. So without any further ado, I want to bring to the call none other than top producing platinum senior vice president, our very own Thomas and Mike Schoenfeld. Mike Schoen, are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, I just want to give it back to you, Kendall Ellis. There's some people on this call for the first time and have no idea of the voice of the man you were just listening to. But he's a man down in Clearwater, Florida, who is committed to helping young, young men become grown men. He's committed to helping kids not end up in jail. He's committed to being the example where kids have no example. And let me tell you, he does it day in and day out. He creates programs, he creates opportunity, he creates education. He is like black history all year long. You know, we try to condense it to the shortest month of the year. But Kendall Ellis says, if we don't train these children, who will? So I'm grateful for you, Kendall Ellis. And it's because of people like you why I get on calls like this every Monday morning. I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. So if you're a guest uh, this morning on the call, be sure to thank the person who invited you on. Because we don't just let anybody on this call. This is not the come one, come all cattle call. This is not the one. This is the call that we look for champions. This is the one that we look for people who say, I am an overcomer. We are looking for people on this call who says, I want to make 2019 the best year of my life. If that's you, then welcome on. My name is Thomas Feld. I'm a Platinum Senior Vice President. And I'm going to talk to you this morning about a product called Oxygen. Oxygen. If it sounds like air, it's because this product may help you breathe financially. We've got a lot to cover in just a little bit of time. So before I jump into the presentation, the first thing that I want to do is I want to sort of bring you up the snuff on some news that I caught over the weekend, and it's very disturbing. Very disturbing. The news is, is that Sally May, in cooperation with the government, is gonna start garnishing your check if you owe money to Sally Mae. That's scary, that's scary. So, you know, most of us, or a good number of us are government workers. Many of us still owe some kind of money to some student loan program. And can you imagine now if they take another $600 a month out of your check? That means millions and millions of people will no longer be able to meet their financial obligations. They won't. Millions of people now will have to choose between food and a roof, right? Because Sally Mae is going to take her money. You can't even bankrupt out of Sally Mae. They already said that the beginning of this year, January, they have 18% of all the people with car notes in America, 18% of the people are 90 days or more past due. That is called a financial indicator. It says that the country is going through some financial pressure and pain. It all started off with the longest government shutdown in the history of America that, that um, caused 800,000 government workers not to get their checks. It impacted 2 million government contractors outside of the government workers and an unlimited number of subcontractors to those uh, contractors have been impacted. We understand that the Ford plant in Pennsylvania is shutting down. 4,000 workers will be out of work come March. It's all coming too fast, man. I mean, you, you guys used to go to see those horror movies. You know, you used to go see Jason and Friday the 13th and one of those Chucky movies or the one with the clown who was hiding out and calling kids from under the sewer. You don't have to watch that stuff no more to be scared. Just turn on the news. T 
turn on CNN or Wolf Blitzer if you want to have a heart attack. There is such, so much going on. You know, the way I stay grounded, the way I stay grounded and the way I not get too excited or too upset or too frustrated is I have this little magazine that comes to my house every quarter, comes every quarter. And it's a magazine about missionaries, missionaries who travel the world. And in these magazines, the missionaries tell stories about the countries that they're in and what's going on. And in one of the magazines, it was telling about 30 million children have no home. 30 million children, they have no home and they have no parents. And they wander from street to street, from shelter to shelter, and from restaurant to restaurant. Now, why do they go to different restaurants? It's because the kids are looking for the, the nicer restaurants because they think they'll find better food in those trash cans. Better food in those trash cans. They said the rich people waste more food and they are there competing with rats for leftover food. You mean to tell me you can't find something to be grateful for? No matter what kind of place you living in, no matter how, how much you don't like your house or your neighborhood or your car, when was the last time you went to a restaurant to fight the rats for the leftover food? Never or never. That's what I said. And that's why I'm excited every morning. That's why I'm grateful every morning. It don't matter what is going on. No matter how much it rained or snowed or how cold it is or how hard the wind blew, we are not in a situation that we are spending years barefoot. That if we get sick, we can't get to some doctor. You know, in America, even if you got no insurance, if you go to the emergency room, they'll treat you. They'll treat you. That's why I'm excited. So I figured I'd take a minute or two to talk to you before I gave you a presentation, because if I didn't give you something to be grateful for, you wouldn't even listen to me. You sit here saying, woe is me. But we have got to be resilient. We've got to be resilient. Do you know they did a study about the difference between winners and losers, people who live and die in emergency situations. And they said the difference is resiliency. Resiliency, that's the difference between you living and dying. It says that people who turn out surviving the most dangerous situations have good lessons for us to learn about how to be resilient every day. The number one thing that resilient people do is they perceive and believe. They are the first ones to recognize that there is an emergency. They go through all the stages of grief faster than anybody else. I just told you that the economy is coming to a shutdown. They're having massive layoffs. So the person who is resilient, they immediately start to think, okay, I may not be the one fired, but I could be the one fired. How do I keep my job the longest? How do I tell my wife? And what's my next move? They go through the stages faster than anyone else. They think survival. They think, how do I live? How do I stay above water? So those are resilient people. Hopefully you're, you're one of those kind of people. When everybody else is dying, you're trying to figure out how to live. I'm not saying you should be paranoid or overly worry, but being a little bit paranoid is equal to living a longer life, being a little bit paranoid, paranoid, being conscious. Even people who are in AA, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous, they have to recognize they have a problem. They say, hey, my name is John, I'm an alcoholic, right? They admit the problem and then they figure out what is the next thing. And then they tell you, I've gone 20 days without a drink. I've gone 20 days without cigarettes. They are thinking about what the progress they've made and what is their next move, right? So first we have got to recognize a problem. And the second thing you've got to do is manage your emotions. You've got to manage your emotions. Can't get carried away, man. You know, they found out that scuba divers, scuba divers, many of them drown while they still have oxygen in their tanks. Many scuba divers who drown, drown while they still have air in their oxygen tank. And I know you say, how is that possible? How could they drown and still have air in their oxygen tank? Well, the way that they drown is they panic. They panic. And what they say people do when they're underwater and they panic, they instinctively pull the nozzle out of their mouth. Because from the time we were little kids, when we start to panic, we want air and we open our mouths. 
Now that is an instinctive sort of response, but an instinctive response in the wrong uh, situation or circumstance can get you killed. It can get you killed. Right response, wrong time, wrong place. It will get you killed, man. So if you are underwater and you open your mouth, you will drown. So you've got to recognize where you are and what times you're living in when you take an action. All of us, all of us got to recognize what times you're in. So yesterday or last week or last year, and I told you about an opportunity to make some additional money. Last year, you could have ignored me. Last year, you could have said you got pension or 401k or you waiting on grandma to die. I don't know. But this year, none of that stuff is going to be enough. Because they done wasted all your 401k money. There are no more pensions. And grandma's going to live to 105. You better come up with a plan, man. Come up with a plan. And what worked last year is not going to work this year. A is not going to work. So you got to make a rash decision. You got to make a smart decision that gives, is going to give you optimal results under your current circumstances. Under your current circumstances. So all of that to say, I've been talking about breathing and we're going to get to this thing called oxygen in one hot second. We got time. We got time. The next thing I want to tell you is sometimes you got to learn when to be a quitter, when to be a quitter. Now, I'm a person who always preaches don't quit. But sometimes in life, you got to quit. You got to know what to stop doing so you can focus on the things that are most critical. People who try to do everything end up doing nothing. You know, the people who want to be on the PTA, they want to be a deacon, they want to be a usher, they want to be in the choir, they want to be on the HOA, they want to own their own business, they want to watch their own kids do homeschooling, they want to be part of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, and they want to be out there campaigning with Black Lives Matter. They try to do everything, and what you find out really quickly is they do nothing efficiently. They do nothing effectively. They cannot change their circumstances because there's nothing that gets enough attention to move the condition that they're in. They got to be smart enough to know when to bail early. If you on the HOA and the HOA is running well and your sister's on the HOA and your mama's on the HOA, then you can probably pull out of the HOA. They'll tell you when there's a crisis about the grass being cut or the snow being removed. If your kid is on four different sports teams and you find your whole day shuttling your kid from basketball to football to baseball to soccer, you got to be smart enough to pull your kids out of some of those sports. It's going to kill you and the kid. The kid's going to fail out of school. And even if they're a great athlete, they won't be able to get a scholarship because they got to have a C average. And then you you'll be killed because you can't afford to sustain multiple sports. I see these parents running these kids around 90 different sports, man. Pick one and be good at that one. They say the best way to take a punch from a UFC fighter or to survive a hurricane is to not be there when it hits. To not be there when it hits. If you're everywhere in everything, every time a crisis comes up, in any of those circumstances, it's going to hit you. You can't be everywhere, right? And that's to a, that's from a, a person that wants to be everywhere. I want to do everything, but I can't, man. I'm getting a little older now. I've got to be more strategic with my energies. Do you know lions sleep 20 hours a day? They sleep 20 hours a day and they hunt only four. Only four hours of every day does a lion hunt. You should be grateful for that. Because if lions hunted 20 hours and slept four hours, there'd be no other animals left in the forest, man. Those lions are very strategic with their energy. Very strategic. When they hunting, they got a little time to hunt so they can get back to sleep, but they got to make it work. You can do anything that you want to do the minute you stop trying to do everything. Did you hear what I said? You could do anything that you want to do. You could, you could run for any office, open any business, make any amount of income. The minute you stop trying to do everything, you could do anything. 
You like that? That's some good stuff, man. It's beginning of 2019. So if you didn't get your motivational boost for the year yet, then here it is. They say that people who are successful have a tendency to be delusional, to be delusional. Will Smith says, you've almost got to be insane. You've got to be delusional. You have got to believe and be optimistic even when everyone else has stopped believing. When I was nine years old, I told everybody when I was living in the projects that I was gonna grow up and be a, an attorney. That's what I told them. And when I told all my friends that, they said, attorneys are white people. That's what they, that's what they said. They said, you, you want to be an attorney, you got to be white. And I was like, man, I can't turn white, but I think I could still chase this thing down. You've got to be delusional. They said, we don't know anybody who's an attorney. We don't have any attorneys in our family. What makes you think you're going to be the first? I said, why not me, man? Why not? Somebody's got to be first. Crazy, successful people and people who survive tough situations are all overconfident. They are very overconfident. The reason you've got to be overconfident is because as you go through life, people will cut you down. They will chisel away at your self-esteem. They will break off little pieces of you. And sometimes they, as they do it, they'll even break off a piece of themselves to hurt you. You never heard somebody say, I'm gonna give you a piece of my mind. They willing to take a piece of their own head to try to hurt yours. You gotta recognize you've got to believe man when nobody else is believing. You've got to see the impossible. You've got to hold on to the invisible. The Bible calls it faith. You've got to have tons of that. But believe it or not, the Bible says a ton of faith is only equal to a mustard seed. That's just a drop. That's to give you an idea of how much faith nobody else has, right? They don't even have a drop of it. The Bible says if you got a drop, that's enough to move mountains. The next thing you've got to do is prepare, even if it's too late to prepare. You've got to prepare even if it's too late to prepare. That means that even if you haven't gotten an education up until now, even if you didn't go to get a, um, a BA or a BS or a master's or a bachelor's or whatever the degree is that you thought you should have got 20 years ago, it's not too late now. And I'm not suggesting go back to school because Sally Mae is waiting to, to garnish your check. But I'm just saying maybe, just maybe you can go to school online. Do you know that uh, the Kennedy Business School and Wharton Business School are two of the top business schools in the country? And each of those schools have all of their classes online for free. Did you know that? You can take the same exact curriculum of Yale and Harvard's business schools online for free from the same professors. You didn't know that, did you? Do you know that a lot of the top universities have all of their classes and curriculum and outline and textbooks and the audio and video from the classes online for free? So don't tell me you can't learn. Don't tell me you don't have enough money. You got internet, man. You just use all your internet watching Empire and Power. Change your focus. It'll change your outcome and it'll change your income. Change your focus. It'll change your outcomes and it'll change your income. I don't know if anybody's listening to me. Maybe I'm talking to myself. But if it's just me talking to me, I'm all right with that too. But I get on this call every Monday because I said, maybe I can affect one person, change one life, make one person's life just a little bit better, just a little bit better. Um, Rihanna puts it this way. Rihanna says that you got to work, 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 work. I can't sing it like she sings it, but y'all know the song. The song says work. Matter of fact, the title of the song is work. You got to work. The only place that you will find success before work is in the dictionary. You got to work, you got to sweat. Everybody wanna be LeBron James, but nobody wanna to go to the gym. Everybody wanna fight like a Mike Tyson, but don't wanna get hit. Everybody wanna to go to heaven, but nobody wanna die. You got to be prepared to put in the work. And let me tell you, once you put in the work, God responds, heaven responds. Heaven responds when you put in the work. Your heavenly father looks down. I believe the verse is in 2 Chronicles verses 
uh, chapter 16, verse 9, it says, The eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the earth to find a person whose heart is righteous towards him. He's looking for somebody. Right? He's looking. If, if God was looking for somebody who was already working to bless, would he stop at your house? Would he stop at your job? If he said, I was just looking for a faithful person to make the manager over this business, with the angel looking over your shoulder say, Susie's already working. Jamal is already working. Mariko's already working. Kendall's already working. Thomas is already working. The Bible says that if you're faithful over a few things, the little things, they'll make you ruler over much. But, but it says, if you're not doing anything, I'll take the little bit that you have. Even God will take it away. Don't get mad at your boss. God said, I'll take it away. Right? And then sometimes you got to make it a game. Make fun of it, man. Have, have a little fun while you're on the process. When I joined this business that I'm in, and I'm, I'm going to tell you about the presentation, man. I know somebody out there is A-type, and they're like, get to it, get to it, man. But how can you rescue a guy who's drowning if he don't even know he's drowning? I had to take a minute to tell you you're drowning. Now you want to be rescued. But they say make it a game. Make resilience and survival a game. You know, like that, that um, show called Survival? They made it a game. Those people could really die on that show. They don't recognize how close they come to death in many of those circumstances because they think it's a game. But it's not a game, man. But mentally, if you make it a game, if you that's why I'm sometimes competitive. I make it a game. I'm chasing this person or I'm trying not to get caught up by that person. I make it a game. I make it a game to, to say that I'm only gonna spend 15 minutes a day handling foolishness because everybody wanna dump their bad day on you and dump their foolishness on you. I got 15 minutes a day to hear people complain and whine and, and bicker. I got 15 minutes, man. After that, I gotta get back to work and I make it a game. I look at my clock. If you on for too long complaining about this, that, and the other, after a certain amount of time, I got to go. My clock is ticking. It's a game. They say that people lose weight with those uh, Fitbits. You know why they lose weight with a Fitbit? Because they made it a game to see how many steps they can take. It was difficult yesterday, but now it's easy today because we made it a game. And listen, this is the last point I'm going to give you, and then I'm done. If you want to get help, you got to learn how to give help. If you want to get help in life, you got to learn how to get, give help. You got to learn how to help somebody else. The Bible says it is better to give than receive. Matter of fact, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs that when you give to the poor, you lend to God. When you give to the poor, you lend to God. And, and as you know, God doesn't, doesn't um, let you down, right? He says that I am not a man that I would lie. He repays his debts. If everybody else don't pay their debt, God does. So he says, give to the poor. So find somebody else to help. Find somebody else. Listen, if you want a summary of everything that I said, let me break it down for you this way. Number one, you got to perceive and believe. You got to believe when nobody else is believing. You, number two, you got to manage your emotions. Number three, you got to be a quitter. Learn how to quit doing everything so you could do something really good. Number four, you got to be delusional. Number five, you got to prepare, even if it's too late for preparation. It's never too late. That's really what I'm saying. Never too late. Number six, stay busy, busy, busy. Just remember Rihanna's song, work, 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 work. Number seven, make it a game. Had fun with it, man. You only live once. For most of us on this line, we have less years ahead of us than behind us. If you're 40 or over right now, it is unlikely that you'll make it to 80. Sorry to scare you, but statistics say that most of us won't make it to 80. So you got less years ahead of you than behind you. Make them count. And then if you talk about usable years, years that you are in your right mind and still have physical health, you can cut that time in half. So if you ever wanted to see the world, do it now. You wanted to get married, do it now. Wanted to have kids, do it now, right? Buy a house, get a car, paint the room. Spend time with mama. Do it now. 
How are you going to be 90 years old deciding that you're finally going to go to the family reunion? Too late. Family's gone, man. Too late. Everybody living those lives of coulda, shoulda, woulda. Too late. Do it now. Do it now. And number eight, if you want to get help, you got to learn how to get help. That's me, man. That's me. Now let's get to this business opportunity presentation. I'm going to zoom through that. But I just wanted to fill you up with some good stuff, man. I try to get filled up every morning. Every morning, I try to spend some quality time in prayer, talking to my heavenly father, recognizing the gifts he's given me, the talents that he's given me, the blessings that he's given me. And once you sort of put everything in perspective, man, it becomes easy. When you realize that kids are going to restaurants, not to eat food, but to dig through the trash, man, and competing against rats, you become grateful. When you realize in January of 2019, Indonesia had a 7.4 earthquake right behind a level 10 tsunami that killed 1.9 million people and it ain't never came on your CNN news. You with me? When you sort of know what's going on, you start sort of sucking at and grabbing at every good thing that you can get your hands on. And you find reasons to be grateful. Now let's talk about the presentation. This morning, I'm talking to you about a presentation for a product called Oxygen, Oxygen, Oxygen. And Oxygen will help you build your hemp pyre. That's like empire with an H and it's made out of hemp. So what can we do with hemp? With hemp, we can use it in a form called CBD that would help you get pain relief fast. Pain relief from things like epilepsy and migraines and titanitis and back pains and anxiety and bursitis and headaches and joint pain and nerve pain and help you lose weight, help you with diabetic pain, nausea, gout, sciatica, inflammation, obesity. I mean, we got a product that can help you with everything except for death. <laughs> we working on that one, but we haven't found out the cure for death yet, but this is the next best thing. It's called CBD. Hang on, I'm going to tell you what it is. But let me tell you what kind of money it's generating first. Right now, this, the NBA is worth $17 billion with a B, $17 billion. The NBA has been around since the 1940s. It's at $17 billion. Rolling Stone magazine is estimating that CBD will be at $22 billion in the next 24 months. They're expecting the revenue from CBD to surpass the NBA in only 24 months. You can't tell me you're not at the right place at the right time. CBD this year or the year that passed, they close to a billion dollars. So it's about to have a 700% increase in revenue in the next 24 months. That means any one of us can jump into this game right now and make some money. What is CBD, you ask? CBD is cannabidiol. It is one of over 400 compounds found in hemp. It is non-psychoactive. It doesn't get you high. Extensive research has shown incredible health benefits from using CBD. It helps with epilepsy, insomnia, depression, stress, pain, anxiety, cancer, losing weight, sclerosis, Parkinson's, and so many other things. Now, how does CBD work? It's not just another supplement. Our bodies have receptors for CBD. It helps us get homeostasis. That means balance. You know, like my wife, sometimes she wants chocolate or she wants something sweet or she wants ice cream or she wants potato chips. Her body is saying, I need something to balance me out. CBD does the same thing for your body. It helps create a healthy balance in our nervous system and in our immune system. There have been thousands of studies done about CBD. 1,700 studies about its pain suppressing properties, 1,100 studies about its brain functioning properties, 2,000 studies on cancer and tumor, tumor fighting potential, 1,300 studies about anti-inflammatory properties, 802 studies about its ability to combat neurodegenerative diseases, and over 400 studies about its ability to relieve anxiety. Now, I know what you're thinking, that you already can go to some doctor or pharmacist and get some medication to take care of one of these issues. But what you don't understand is that a lot of the medications that you take have life-threatening side effects, life-threatening side effects. So they have a medication that comes on the, on the news, on the commercial, 
and it's for, um, I don't know, it's a purple pill and it helps with uh, acid reflux, right? And so in the beginning of the per commercial, they have a beautiful man and a beautiful woman and they're running through fields of lilies and poppies and wheatgrass. And then somehow they end up at a park on a swing and the man is pushing the woman and she's happy without a care in the world while the guy is telling you all the benefits of this medicine. But before the commercial ends, a guy comes on the line. He sounds like a, a, an attorney doing a voiceover. And he says the medication can, can cause you to have thoughts of suicide cause you to have blood in your urine, cause you to have kidney failure or lung failure or some other catastrophic result. And when I finished listening to the commercial, my thought is, man, give me the acid reflux. Who needs to be dying trying to get better? So CBD is one of the few products that you can take that will help you with your current situation. And there are no known side effects. No known side effects. So, so if you've taken one other medication or 20 other medications or no other medication, no known side effects. Don't, don't help me and kill me at the same time. We also have plenty of celebrity advocates for CBD. Morgan Freeman, Jennifer Aniston, 2 Chains, Ice Cube, Seth Rogen, Nate Diaz, Olivia Wilde, and Al Harrington. Now, you might not know all of these celebrities, but you know at least one. And the reason why I dropped their names is each one of them use CBD. Each one of them recommend CBD. And each one of them have tens of millions of dollars that they can research it in ways that you can't. They can get their own lawyers to look into it, get their own doctors, order up their own studies. And they've done all of that with their brands that they have to protect and said, CBD is the thing for me. Now, what about CBD in the news? CBD in the news, Market Watch, which is owned by CBS, says that mainstream consumers are adopting CBD. NPR, National Public Radio, says CBD is anxiety relief without the high. The Guardian says, what is CBD? It is the miracle cannabis compound that doesn't get you high. Forbes magazine for the World Health Organization reported that no public health risks or abuse, abuse potential for CBD. You don't have to worry about getting high off of CBD or getting addicted to CBD. It doesn't have qualities that promote those things. Also now you get a chance to be in front of Fortune 500 companies. Fortune 500 companies, Coca-Cola is getting involved in the cannabis market. It wants to create its own CBD infused beverage to ease inflammation, pain, and cramping. When was the last time you got in front of a Fortune 500 company like Coca-Cola or Walmart or CVS or Target? Never or never, right? So we're in front of the big boys. We got our own drink. So it's emerging market with billions of dollars to be made and the time to capitalize is now. You were looking for the right company at the right time. Well, here it is. Some of y'all said you only, you're waiting for opportunity to knock and you'll answer. Well, listen up, that's opportunity, it's knocking. So it's our time right now to build your empire. Who is the person that brought this incredible product line to us? His name is Jawan Howard, Jawan Howard. He is our partner and our brand ambassador. If you've never heard of him, he's the first NBA player to get a $100 million contract. He's a two-time NBA champion for 2012 and 2013. He's part of the Michigan Fab Five class of 1991, and he's the assistant coach of the Miami Heat since 2013. He says oxygen offers incredible line of CBD products that relieve daily pain and aches and it helps limit the effects of aging and supports maximum daily performance. He says, take it from me, it really works. Now our oxygen products work in a lot of different categories, anti-stress, weight loss, energy boost, pain relief, sleep support, anti-aging, athletic performance and pet products. I'm gonna start out with our flagship product called a therapeutic rub. And this therapeutic rub is great for your joints and your soft tissues and for exercise induced inflammation. This stuff is great for somebody who's got to sit on their tush all day, 
right? A Uber driver, a Lyft driver, a truck driver, bus driver, or for somebody who's got to be working around the house or just a weekend warrior, you know, the person who pulls out the two box every weekend, it's good for them too. It's triple action joint muscle pain with soothing emu oil. It has menthol heat and it doesn't smell like Ben Gay. Most people get relief in as little as 10 to 20 minutes. We also have moisturizing skincare. It helps with your anti-aging. You know, you ever wanted to get rid of a few wrinkles, turn back time just a little bit? You know that song, if I could, if I could save time in a bottle, right? So we got time saved in a bottle. Your skin is the largest muscle in your body and your skin has muscle memory. And what this product does is it helps firm up your skin. And if you use it long enough, your skin starts to say, this is my new norm. This is the way I'm supposed to be. And people are going to look at you and they're going to start to think that you're, you're your own daughter or you're your own son. I was on the internet recently. I posted a picture of myself and somebody asked me if that was my son. I said, no, man, that's me. They asked me, was it a picture from high school? I said, no, it was a picture from last week, man. If you take good care of yourself, eat right, diet, exercise, use the right supplements, you can actually turn back time. These are our performance blast caps. And these are great for the high performance athlete, or again, the pe person who has to stay up all day, you know, the Uber drivers of the world or the taxi drivers or the people who are working on projects like students or people who are working on a job that you gotta stay alert for eight hours and that's most of us. I have yet to find a job, an eight hour job where they tell you, you can nap on the job. I haven't, I haven't run into that one yet. So if you need to stay alert, oxygens, blast caps are great for that. It enhances performance with energy boosting green coffee beans, CBD, tea cream, and BCAA. If you don't know what this means, go talk, down, talk to the big boys down at the gym. But it'll help you experience an energy boost in 20 minutes or less and it'll last for half the day. We also have lifestyle sprays, things you can just squirt in your mouth. A lot of ladies like to keep these in their purse or men keep these in their merce and they just sort of spray it in, anti-stress, energy boost, sleep support, pain relief. But our number two bestseller, or I guess it's a tie for our number one bestseller are our CBD tinctures and capsules. Tinctures give you a, a strong dose of CBD. You can take it every day, right? For optimal mind and body health. A lot of people who are on a serious spectrum of medical ailments like cancer like to take these CBD tinctures every day or just people who are serious about being their best selves for 2019 like to use these tinctures. The tinctures also have MCT oil that provides a full spectrum of health enhancing benefits. And then what about those of us who have dogs or cats, right? We have pet CBD sprays and treats. When you have big dogs like Huskies or, or Rockweilers or German Shepherds, they get aches and pains in their bodies. If you got little dogs like Jack Russells or, or Chihuahuas, they, they get anxious. You know, the rain starts coming or the lightning or the thunder or somebody knocks on the door. These little animals go bananas, man. We want them to be alarm clocks for us, but we don't want them to, to suffer from anxiety. And so this just sort of balances them out. Now, how do we make money off of all of this stuff that we talked about? We do two things. We get business partners and customers. We're looking for people who want to open up a Chick-fil-A, but don't have Chick-fil-A money. We're looking for people who have aches and pains and know some other people that might have aches and pains, want to get relief, get the products wholesale, and make some money at the same time. You may fall in both categories, I did. The company says, if you get started, show two people how to get started. In 30 days, they'll give you $250. But if you introduce five people to, to our product line in the first 30 days and get 25 personal customer points, the company says they'll give you $1,000. So that's the thing that we all shoot for, the quick start bonus, not the slow start bonus, the quick start. We also have different positions that you can obtain. And as you get these positions, the company says they'll give you a bonus of $250, $750, $1,500, and $5,000 for hitting these different position markers. I want to tell you it is entirely possible for you to hit every position marker in the company. 
I did every position marker in 85 days, not just one position, but every position in 85 days up to senior vice president, which is our first executive position. Only reason I'm telling you that is you can do it. Even if you don't do it in, in six months, you can possibly do it in a year, all right? And the company said that they will pay you for that. They will compensate you for your initiative. The company also says if you get 25 customers, they'll give you $100 a month, 50 customers, $250 a month, 100 customers, $500 a month. They'll also show you how to make up to $4,000 a month in residual uh, retail profit. We also do wholesaling. The company says if you wholesale these products, they'll give it to you at a cheaper price, which allows you to have a larger profit margin. If you move 24 units at $35 each, the company says sell it for $69. That is a good retail price. And they'll pay you, you'll make $838 a month. That'll be your profit. Now, the reason we picked $69 is if you went on the internet and try to find a similar product, it's about $109 on Amazon. So we try to find a perfect price point for people who are price shoppers, right? Like my wife is a price shopper. My wife tried to get a pair of $11 pantyhose. She had to check Target and Amazon, Walmart, CVS, and call my sister-in-law about an $11 pair of pantyhose. So you, if you deal with people who are price shoppers, they can't resist this product at this price. If you get 240 units at $35 each, retailing it for 69, that's an $8,388 profit. 2,400 units retailing at $69, is a $83,000 monthly profit. I'm telling you, y'all got friends and family, just collaborate, work as a team, work as a group. I have 69 first cousins who are always complaining about the cost for the family reunion. I asked my 69 cousins to all to move four to five bottles of this product with me and I'll pay for the family reunion. I'll pay for the hotel. I'll pay for the food. I'll pay for the airfare, right? Let's build this business as a family. Let's build it together. You can also make residual income as you build a team. If you build a team anywhere from five people on, the company says you can make $75 a month in residual income. Show that team how to get a few customers. They'll get a residual of $1.50 per customer. With just five people, that's $75 a month. And if you build this thing year over year, five people being added to your business, you can go in year two to $375 a month, year three to $1875 a month, year four to $9,000 and change a month. And year five, you can have earning potential of in the neighborhood of $46,000 plus a month as you build your team, adding on five people to every five. So that means in year five, you have like 3,000 people in your book of business. There are people who are on this call right now who are in the sound of my voice right now who have 50,000 plus people in their book of business in under nine years. So what I'm telling you is 100% doable. It is achievable. You can do it. We also get customer acquisition bonuses up to $140 per person who gets started in your book of business. We get monthly team bonuses up to $25,700 a month. As we help other people on our team succeed, we also have mentorship bonuses where we earn up to $100 for helping each new person who looks at your business reach their next position. Now, I've talked about a lot of money, and this could be confusing for you. I've been talking about nine different ways to get paid which is different than work because at work, most of us get paid the same thing every two weeks. Can you imagine getting nine different checks every two weeks? How much would you love work then? We also have executive level benefits like car allowances and annual vacations and leadership pools. Our executive benefits include a car allowance of up to $800 a month. The company will give that to you towards a new vehicle, a used vehicle, or a vehicle that you already have that you still have a note on. We also have annual vacations for you and your significant other, and we have leadership pools. We also have a platinum senior vice president position where they will give you additional car payments and additional leadership pool shares. I wanna tell you that these first two positions, senior vice president and platinum senior vice president, I had chief senior vice president in 85 days after seeing this business presentation for the first time, 
with no experience. I've never been in any sort of sales organization in my life other than this one. And I hit a position called Platinum Senior Vice President in just 16 months, a year and four months after looking at this business opportunity. But the position that we all strive for is one called Diamond Senior Vice President. The man who coordinates this call, his name is Tupac the Renicor. He's a Diamond Senior Vice President. So you can't say it doesn't happen because the man who coordinates this call, he's already won. He's already won. So when you hit Diamond, the company says they'll give you a $300,000 earned position bonus, and then they'll give you $10,000 a month as a lifestyle allowance, right? I mean, I was a kid getting an allowance. Can you imagine as in a grown person getting an allowance of $10,000 a month? What could be better than that? You get a chance in this new year to build your legacy, a legacy that says no boss, no quotas, no set hours, be home base, have additional streams of income. Why? Because we all want freedom. And freedom for many of us means to be debt free. If I could just pay off all of the debts on your credit report, you walk off of this call feeling like Oprah Winfrey or Bill Gates, right? Or, or money for your kid's college fund while they're still in kindergarten. Or what about charity? And the Bible says charity begins where? At home. We'll give you tools to promote your business, banners, brochures, apparel. We'll give you websites. We'll give you all of that. We also have other products and services like healthy coffee and tea. And by the way, we're coming out with a brand new product. It's a secret, but I'm about to kill the secret. We're coming out with CBD coffee and tea. There's been a raging demand for CBD coffee and tea. And guess who's going to fill the void? We are. We also have diabetes products. We have streaming television and credit repair. Credit is more important than cash. I can get a $500,000 house with an 800 uh, credit score. You got to get good credit. And so to pay $59 to get good credit, it's more than worth it, right? You got to get that score up, get your score up, right? And it'll change the, the things that you're able to do. The company says there's two ways to get started. You can come in as a rep for $249 or you can get a $499 belief bundle. Now, why would I recommend you get a $4.99 belief bundle? Because the company says they'll waive your enrollment fee and give you $700 in product. That is a $1,000 benefit for coming in at $4.99. You're going to have tons of product that you can use, that you can sample, that you can share, and that you can sell on day one. The company says they'll also give you 17 customer points for doing that. You are instantly qualified and get a $25 qualifying bonus. You get to earn an immediate return on your investment on day one. Listen, there's nothing more to say. There's nothing more to do. I've said it all on this call. We've done it all on this call. We have motivated you. We have inspired you. We have, we've done everything we could to lift you up. The only thing I didn't do was jump through the phone lines and give you a man hug, right? <laughs> give you one of those hugs like Big Mama used to do and say, baby, everything is going to be all right. I've done everything except for that. If I said something today that, that has inspired you to, to, to get busy, to do something different, to look at this business opportunity, I want you to get back with the person who invited you on this call. Get back with him or her and say, I've seen it. I've listened to it. I'm interested. What's next? Tell them I've seen it, man. I'm interested. What's next? Ask them. Get back to whoever invited you on. I want to give you a website that you can go to. And you can take a look at the presentation that I talked about on the phone for those of you who are on the phone. And for those of you who are watching me online on the internet, you can go to this website and you can see the presentation all over again. The website I want you to go to is cbdwebinar101.com, cbdwebinar101.com. Every night, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, you can go to cbdwebinar101.com and see a presentation being done either by myself or people in our company who have uh, superseded my success by tenfold doing a presentation, cbdwebinar101.com. So if you like what you've seen and you want to see it again, go to cbdwebinar101.com. I'm going to open up the phone lines to take any questions that you might have. 
Um, also, I want to remind you, like Kendall Ella said at the beginning of the call, we have a national event going on from March 27th to the 30th uh, in New Orleans, NOLA, and also on the 31st, which is the Sunday after the event, we are going to have an eight-hour boot camp called CBD Immersion Camp, CBD Immersion. We're going to dip you and baptize you in some CBD. We're going to teach you about how to sell it, what to say, what scripts to use, et cetera. Tonight or today when I was talking to you on this call, I used the script. It's a script any one of you can use. You know, and if you want the script, get with the person who invited you on the call. They'll ask me for it and I'll send it to you free of charge. Okay. But there's things that you can say to make it better. You, you've learned scripts for everything. Remember the high school play that you did? Shakespeare, Romeo, Juliet, right? You don't remember that stuff now, but when you had the script, you were able to say it and it flowed off your tongue. Right? You don't have to be eloquent like a Mariko Turner or Kendall Ellis in order to learn what to say in this business. All you got to do is follow the script. One thing I want to tell you lastly, we got some preachers on the line, some deacons and deaconesses on the line, some preachers and prophets on the line. I want to tell you that the Bible talks about cannabis in the Bible in Exodus chapter 30, verses 23 to 27. The reason I'm pointing this out for you is I want you to know that this is not marijuana. We ain't trying to get people high. There's no TAC in it. So if you go to Exodus chapter 30, verses 23 to 25, it says that God himself gave Moses a ointment to, for the healing of the people in the sanctuary. And it was called a fragrant calamus, C-A-L-A-M-U-S, calamus is what it's called. And calabus, calamus in, in Hebrew is cut canobosum, canobosum or cannabus, cannabus. Cannabus in English is cannabis. Canubus in Hebrew is just cannabis in English. So even Moses, more than 4,000 years ago, was using the stuff that we're recommending to you. Moses got the one up from God. God recommended to, to Moses and Moses told the people about it. And I'm telling you about it. Maybe y'all should just call me Moses. Call me Moses. No, I'm just kidding. Don't call me Moses. You get the point, but check out your Bibles. It's all there. I'm going to open up the phone line. If you want to, if you want to get through on the line, just hit star six, star six. We got about five more minutes to go. If you got a comment or you got a comment or a question, feel free. And if you're online, just Sort of put a comment in the, in the, in the feed online and, and we'll answer your questions. We'll do our best. We don't know it all, but we know how to point you to people and, and websites where you can get your questions answered. Anybody on the call got a question? You know, I've been talking to y'all for a little bit over 35, 40 minutes. And if I've been talking for 35 or 40 minutes and nobody's got a comment or a question, that means that one or two things have transpired. Either we did an awesome or an, an incredible job, or everybody on this line is baffled and confused. <laughs> what say you? All right, I see somebody jumped into the, Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Somebody just jumped into the queue. Talk to me, Kendall. All right, just real quick, man. I, I just wanted to say um, I appreciate the thought that you just gave me, how you and your family got together to do the bulk order and then just giving everybody pretty much a piece of the pie to go out and carry their own weight. Uh, that was just, I, as you were saying, Alan, man, that's just an ingenious idea. So I'm just eternally grateful. My family doesn't even know to the levels of gratefulness I am that uh, you've been placed in my life, man. And I just want you to know that continue to pray for you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And I thank you for leading us. And uh, I'm, I'm following, man. I appreciate you. Man, I appreciate you back, man. I don't know what I would be without you. So many times you, Mariko, Ray Hendrickson, when I was at a low moment, when I needed somebody to say, hey, bro, let's keep pressing on. You know, you guys have been to me what, what Rocky and Apollo Creed were to each other. We press each other towards good works is what the Bible says. We have to help each other pressing towards the finish line. Nobody is going to be able to do it by themselves. Success is a team sport. Together, everyone achieves more. So thank you so much, Kendall. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, I'm going to open up the phone lines. I see 843-222. Hello. Hi. Uh, good morning. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sis. How are you? 
Oh, okay. God bless you. I am so grateful for you guys. Uh, to Mr. Felder, this is Jeanette out of Myrtle Beach, and I want to thank you for all that you do to help us. Um, I have a, um, uh, I need to know if I can get a question answered for, um, I'm looking for a hotel for three men to come to the national. I have three, I have a guest, two people that are guests that's coming to the national, but we need a room for three men to share a room, split a room and pay, pay the cost. Uh, the women, the wives um, have their room already reserved, but the husbands, I'm looking for room for them for their, uh, uh, it's three men and it, you know, they need a, a hotel room to split the cost. If any, you know, if you know of anyone, uh, I can leave my number at 843-222-876. Uh, if someone could give me a call, my name is Jeanette Jones. Um, I would appreciate the help. Hey, again, hey. that is Jeanette Jones. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeanette, give me that number again. You went kind of fast. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you got the first part where I'm looking to, um, to help my team members. We have guests coming to the national. Right. So, um, so Jeanette, the number the number is 843-222-8876. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. So everybody who's on the line, if you're going to Nationals, she's got three guys who are willing to help contribute to costs in order to share a room. So thank you, Jeanette. We'll put that on the open feed and we'll put your number. We'll attach it uh, for people to get back to you. Also, uh, if anybody needs to contact me, you, you want to share a room as well, you can let me know. I'll also post it out on the feed. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Is there anything else you wanted to ask or contribute, or you're good? Uh, I just want to thank you guys again for everything that you're doing. God bless you. All right. Thank you so much, sis. I appreciate, appreciate you. I'm going to the next call, or 678-879. Hello? Hello? Hey, how are you today? Good morning, Platinum Senior Vice President. Uh, this is Carol from Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. ATL. Is it hot down there? They always say it's hot in Atlanta. Is it hot? <laughs> well, it was beautiful yesterday. It wasn't too bad yesterday. We were in the 50s yesterday. Oh, awesome. So it, was, it was nice to go to church and come back without really freezing. Yeah, it was a little windy, but that gotcha. was okay compared to other places. Gotcha. What can we do for you today? Yeah, I just want to tell you, great, great presentation as usual. I mean, I, I now if I miss Monday, uh, vitamin call, it's like I'm missing something. It's just so, it's just so awesome, you know, the the the, the way you present uh, this opportunity, especially when you start with uh, just uh, encouraging people and uh, and then get to the presentation itself um just uh, so grateful so grateful for what you do truly appreciate you thank you so much sis so i got i got two questions number one can you give us the text number again to text you to get a script yeah uh, don't mind. anybody in the line who just wants to get a script of what i said today you know i kind of typed it out that kind of keeps me on point so I don't go too long and don't miss incredible sort of yeah. information. You can text me at 202-409-4456 if you want to get a copy of the script that I use for today's call. Thank you. All and right. then the other thing that I wanted to find out from you, which may not be out of the presentation, is you mentioned that the Kennedy Business School online classes are free. Yes, ma'am. How can I get that information or the word in school? Um, you know, I, I think you can just type it in online. I don't I haven't memorized the link, but most of those graduate classes, Columbia as well, they have their all of their whole curriculum, every class, all of the teaching stuff, everything is free, free, free. And just most people didn't know that. So uh, <laughs> maybe maybe next Monday when I get on. Maybe next Monday when I get on, I'll have the links ready. Um, I didn't. Okay, I didn't realize somebody awesome. would ask. I'll. I'll find the links and I'll be able to call them out for you next week on Monday. All right. That would be awesome. That'd All right. Because awesome. I googled the uh, Kennedy Business School uh, free online classes. They didn't give me any, you know, information. Uh, good information. So that'd be awesome. Thank you, so very much. Uh, no. No so problem. I appreciate you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Why don't you type in Wharton free Happy business Friday. classes? Yeah, try try typing in Wharton free business classes. Try that. Okay. Wharton. Okay. I'll, I'll 
try that again. All right, good deal. Okay, God bless you. L likewise, sis, likewise. Bye -bye. All right, listen, everybody, we've covered everything that could possibly be covered in uh, the last, I don't know how long we've been on this call, but I'm appreciative to all of you. Uh, my name is Thomas Felder. I look forward to seeing each of you on the beaches of the world. I'm not at the beach, at the bank. But more importantly to any beach or any bank, I look forward to seeing you guys at the gates of the kingdom. For what would it profit any one of us to gain the whole world and to lose our, lose our own soul? So until I meet you and greet you, walk with the king today and be a blessing. If you're a guest, get back to the person who invited you on this line. If you're a business partner, get busy, man. Get to work. Get to work. If you get to work, God can bless it. He can't bless you if you're standing still. You got to move. You got to move and he'll move with you right? Um, if you need anything, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. Also, I'm inviting all of you to the boot camp on Sunday after nationals. It is eight hours. It would be a new Orleans. It will not be more than $60. So I invite you out for, for 10 hours that could possibly change your life. With that being said, you guys have an awesome, incredible day on purpose. Today's call is officially over. All right, for those of you who are online, hopefully you've enjoyed the call. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'm about to shut it down. Um, but I've enjoyed you guys, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so appreciative. You guys take care. Until next week, uh, we'll be back, same time, same place. God bless.